Mr. Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my question is to the Minister of Police and ask, what announcements has the government made about, the, about investing in police to make our communities safer? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, thank you to the member. Last week, the Prime Minister announced that we will be boosting the number of police staff by more than 1,100 over the next four years. This $503 million package, which includes 880 sworn police and 245 non-sworn staff, is about getting the worst offenders off our streets, as well as preventing crime. The package is just another step on from the 600 extra police put in place since National came to government, and our investment in mobile technology that has freed up the equivalent of 350 frontline officers. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kamal Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What areas will the new police target? Mr Speaker, ah, the Honourable Paula uh, this package has been carefully put together to target both crime prevention and catching the worst offenders. 500 officers will be out in the community responding to emergencies, dealing with youth crime and investigating burglaries. 140 will be, uh, will be dedicated to our rural and regional areas. Another 140 will investigate serious offending such as child abuse, abuse, sexual assault and family violence. 80 will target organised crime, gangs and methamphetamine. And the new police will be spread around the country where each district will get a share. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Kanwar Singh Bakshi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What results can New Zealanders expect from this significant investment? Mr Speaker, uh, the, Honourable Paula well, the investment of more than half a billion dollars comes with challenging performance targets for police to make a real difference in real New Zealanders' lives. The targets include 98 per cent of home burglaries will be attended within 48 hours. 95 per cent of New Zealanders will live within 25 kilometres of a police presence 24-7. Uh, $400 million worth of assets will be seized from organised criminals, up from $230 million um, in the last few years, and a reduction of deaths and family violence are among some of the targets that we expect them to achieve. Quick. Oh, supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What convinced her that merely seven months after the government's four-year plan stating no new police until at least 2020 was signed off, that an increase in police numbers was so important it became the first election promise made by the government in the new year. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, it would be fair to say a number of issues. Um, as has already been identified by many, and including in this House, the good work of the former Minister of Police um, had already started progressing in that work in that way. We had already committed the equivalent of over 900 police in the last eight years, so now was the time to look at the next investment um, into police and into our communities. So that's exactly what we did. But we were really, really clear that we wanted to make sure that the targets that those police achieved we're for the betterment of all New Zealanders. Question number seven, Denise Roach. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Immigration and asks what steps, if any,